Which is better, the LG Stylo 5 or the LG G6? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with my comparison video between the LG Stylo 5 and LG G6. I think this video is going to be very interesting because, first thing, both phones are from the same company, LG. The second thing is that the LG Stylo 5 is a newer phone from LG that came out last June, and the LG G6 is one of their older flagships that came out several years ago. And then the third thing is that the LG G6 is actually currently selling renewed on Amazon for a fraction of the price that the LG Stylo 5 is selling for. So currently, you can get the LG Stylo 5 for around 250 bucks. They keep changing the price for some reason between 299 and 199. So definitely take a look at the link in the video description to see the most up-to-date pricing for the LG Stylo 5. But you can currently get the LG G6 renewed from Amazon for just a little bit over $100. So when you buy a device that's renewed, essentially it's a phone that was returned or maybe it's a device that's been refurbished, but the phone comes in excellent condition. You can see that this one that I have here looks fantastic. There are no signs of use or wear on the display. In fact, even around the charging port, things look really clean and fresh and new. And on the back side of the phone, it's in great condition as well. So this might be one of the phones that was returned instead of being a phone that someone actually used for several years and then somehow ended up being refurbished. I'm not really sure the backstory of this, of course, but all I've got to say is, is that for a little bit over $100, this phone is in excellent condition. Now, if you buy a device that is renewed from Amazon, you get a generic box and you get third-party charging accessories. So you don't get the original box, unfortunately, and you don't get an LG charger. So that's the difference with the LG Stylo 5, because with this phone, if you do buy it new, which is how most people would buy it at this point because it came out not too long ago, you are going to be getting, of course, the box that the phone comes in normally and everything else since it is a brand new item. Now, to see the most up-to-date pricing for both phones, take a look at the link in the video description. And the LG Stylo 5 actually works with all four major US carriers, but this version of the LG G6 is the unlocked GSM version of the phone. So for Sprint and Verizon, this phone will not work, unfortunately. But with all that out of the way, let's dive into the head-to-head -head comparison with these two devices. So the first thing is that with the LG Stylo 5, we're getting a 6.2-inch display at 1080p with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio and a PPI of 392. And with the LG G6, we're getting a smaller display at 5.7 inches, but it's 1440p with an incredible 562 PPI and a 19 by 9 aspect ratio. Now both devices do feature LCD displays, so keep that in mind, but both displays do actually look really good. They're both really crisp and clear with great colors. I would say that the G6's display is probably a little bit better as far as the way it actually looks. Of course the resolution is better without a doubt, but I feel like the actual colors here are better as well compared to the LG Stylo 5. But you can see putting the phones right up next to each other, there's no doubt that the LG Stylo 5 does have the bigger display of the two. Now both phones feature kind of an older design here, even though the LG Stylo 5 was launched just last year. But both devices do have thicker bezels on the top and bottom, but neither of the two phones do feature a notch at the top. So if you do want a phone with no notch, then either of these two would be good options for you. Now up top here with both devices, we're getting 5 megapixel front-facing cameras. And with both phones, we're also getting 32 gigabytes of internal storage with SD card expansion. Now both devices do feature fingerprint sensors on the back. And what's interesting is that the fingerprint sensor with the LG G6 is also the power button. So there is no power button on the sides of the phone. You actually have to tap on this button here to actually turn on the device or power it off but the button also is the fingerprint sensor as well. So pretty awesome if you are looking for a more minimalist design here, because essentially you're getting less buttons overall with the LG G6. But we'll try out those fingerprint sensors right now, starting with the Stylo 5. 
So very quick there. Now we'll do the G6. So screen's off, and then now it's unlocked. So both phones feature very quick and reliable fingerprint sensors, which is awesome. Now, as far as the rear cameras go, with the LG Stylo 5, we just have a single 13 megapixel camera. And with the LG G6, the main camera is 13 megapixels, and the secondary camera is also 13 megapixels, but we are getting an ultra wide angle camera. Now there is no portrait mode on the back or front with the LG G6, and with the LG Stylo 5, there's also no portrait mode with the rear camera, but the front camera does have portrait mode. Now if you're not familiar with some of the advantages of having an ultra wide angle camera with your phone, let me show you exactly how that works. So you can see, here's how things look with the standard camera on both phones. But now I'm going to switch over the LG G6 to the ultra wide setting, and you can see how much more content fits into the frame here. So definitely a nice option if you are looking to fit more content into your pictures. Maybe you're taking a photo of a group of people or a building or something like that. Portrait mode is definitely excellent for that. So you can take photos very quickly and easily here with the device, which is awesome. In fact, the LG G6 was one of the first phones, to my understanding, that did feature an ultra wide angle camera. And clearly LG was a pioneer in that department because that feature has made its way over to pretty much every flagship at this point. And now we're starting to see ultra wide angle cameras on different budget phones too, like the Samsung Galaxy A20. Now, as far as the RAM goes, we're getting three gigabytes of RAM with the LG Stylo 5 and four gigabytes of RAM with the LG G6. Now we're getting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 processor with the LG Stylo 5, and the LG G6 features the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821. Now I did run the Antutu benchmark test with both devices here, so I'll show you the scores that I got with that. But overall with the LG Stylo 5, I get a score of 82711, and with the LG G6, despite this device being several years old, I got a score of 167717. So a significantly better benchmark score with the LG G6 compared to the LG Stylo 5. So certainly if you're looking for a phone that performs really well, I would say go with the G6 because you are going to be getting better performance with this phone overall. Now if you're curious about the launcher on the LG G6, this is actually the Nova launcher. I'm not really a big fan of LG's skin on this device. I think the skin is fine on the LG Stylo 5, but with the G6 I wanted to put Nova launcher on here instead to get kind of more of a stock feel with the launcher and it works really well overall, so I'm very happy with it. Now as far as video recording goes, video recording with the LG Stylo 5 maxes out at 1080p, and video recording with the LG G6 maxes out at 4K at 30 frames per second. You can also take 4K video with the ultra wide angle camera if you want to, in addition to the standard camera. So very cool there that you can buy a phone right now for a bit over $100 that will give you 4K video recording. And then for the software, the LG Stylo 5 features Android 9 Pie, and with the LG G6, we're getting Android 8 Oreo. Now, I believe when the phone was first launched, it came with Nougat, but my phone has since been updated to Oreo, and I believe some LG G6s have gotten Pi, but I have not gotten that alert yet for that update with this device, and I have no idea when I'll be getting it. Another disappointing thing, too, about the LG G6 is that the phone is stuck on the August 1st, 2018 Android security patch level, so it's a very old security patch, and it's not much better with the LG Stylo 5 because it's stuck on the October 2019 security patch, but certainly a little bit more updated with the security patch compared to the LG G6. But I'd really like to see LG put in a bit more effort into keeping all of their devices on the latest security patch. I don't even care necessarily that we get the newest version of Android, even though that'd be awesome. And both of these phones do have adequate hardware for Android 10, but at the very least, I'd like to at least see a newer, later security patch. And if these phones were able to get the January 2020 security patch, that would be amazing. Now that we've compared the specifications of these two phones, let's compare the hardware a bit more. Now taking a look at the left side of the two devices, they both actually feature this nice metal band running around the phone, but you have the volume button, and then on the LG Stylo 5, we have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the right side of the two phones on the LG Stylo 5, we just have the power button, and then on the LG G6, we just have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. Then on the top of the two phones, they both have the noise-canceling microphone, 
And on the top of the LG G6, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then on the bottom of the two devices, they both have the microphone, they both have the speaker, they both have the USB-C port for charging and data transfer. And then with the Stylo 5, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and we have the stylus. So the stylus is certainly a feature that you cannot find with the LG G6. That's why this phone is called the Stylo 5. It's part of LG Stylo series. But it's a pretty basic stylus. It doesn't give you too many functions here. But it's still cool to have nonetheless, and it's a great tool to use to navigate around the phone and you can write notes and different things like that. I go into that very deeply in my LG Stylo 5 review, so certainly check that out. But I certainly like having a stylus, and I wish that LG did have a flagship phone that had a stylus, but unfortunately, the Stylo series is the best that they have to offer with a stylus. And one other thing too, I forgot to talk about the battery capacity. With the LG Stylo 5, we're getting a 3,500 milliamp hour internal battery. And with the LG G6, we're getting a smaller battery at 3,300 milliamp hours. So again, like I mentioned earlier, with the G6, you might be getting an older battery that's gotten more usage out of it compared to a brand new device like the LG Stylo 5. So it is possible that you'll definitely be getting better battery life with the Stylo 5 compared to the LG G6. But based on your lifestyle and based on how much time and how much battery life you really need to get through your day, getting the G6 might be completely fine. And you might even get lucky and buy a renewed G6 that was a return that someone had hardly used previously. I believe that's the case for this device because it looks so fresh and new. I suppose you have no way of knowing how much usage your renewed phone has gotten prior to you buying it, but you might get lucky and get a phone that's hardly been used at all. And then on the back side of the devices, we have the camera module, we have the fingerprint sensor, and logos. So pretty standard here on the back. We do have a plastic material on the back side of the LG Stylo 5, and we have glass on the back of the LG G6. Let's now do a speed test comparison between these two devices, starting with pulling up the camera. So one, two, three, go. And it looks like the G6 was quicker at pulling up the camera, not very surprising there. Now we're going to pull up Google Chrome. One, two, three, go. And it looks like it was about the same on both devices. Let's go to Engadget.com. One, two, three, go. And it looks like for some reason, the G6 was a little bit slower to register that. And it looks like the Stylo 5 was quicker at pulling up Engadget. Scrolling is smooth on both phones. Seems like it's a bit smoother though on the G6 compared to the Stylo 5, which is interesting to see. I'm gonna scroll up to the top here now. Let's pull up this link. One, two, three, go. And it was quicker on the LG G6. So you can see that both phones feature pretty similar looking displays in the sense of the colors. So it's not like one phone has more saturated colors than the other. Seems like the saturation is about the same, but no doubt the display on the LG G6 is certainly better looking overall. But I like the displays in both phones and I would certainly be happy with either of them. So in conclusion, which of these devices is the better device to choose? Definitely kind of an interesting situation here because you can buy the LG G6 for a lot less than the LG Stylo 5. I would say that the only reasons why I would buy the LG Stylo 5 over the G6 is for the stylus and for having slightly newer software. But beyond that, the G6 is better with everything else. Well, I guess another thing too is that the Stylo 5 does have a little bit bigger of a display. But beyond that, the G6 is better with everything else. You're getting a better looking display with a higher PPI. You're getting better cameras with the phone. You're getting an ultra wide angle camera on the back, which you don't even get with the LG Stylo 5. You're getting more RAM. You're getting a better processor because this was a flagship processor when the phone was new. But those are the main benefits with going with the G6. Now, the G6 does have an older Android security patch, but even though the Stylo 5 is a newer phone, as I showed you a second ago, that security patch on here is still very ancient as well. So LG doesn't really do software support very well either way, which is definitely frustrating. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which of these two devices you prefer. Check out the links in the video description. But this is Kevin here, and I will see you in the next video.